TV, what kind of camera is this? Panasonic GH2. Vince, what kind of camera is this? Panasonic GH2. Panasonic GH2. Tiba Jefferson, first day of using the GH2. We're gonna get some mind blowing skating right now. Mind blowing? Mm hmm. Okay, so one of the cool things about this camera is that it films 1080i. It kind of looks more crisp, more smooth. Yeah, more smooth for capturing fast action skating. Wow, more smooth for capturing fast action skating. And it gives more of that video feel that some people prefer over the cinematic look. So another great feature about this camera is its low light capabilities. We're gonna shoot at 1250 ISO. You're gonna see there's barely any grain. We're just gonna use all this available light. You don't even need a lighting crew. <laughs> This is the 8mm Lumix fisheye. And you can see how dirty my fingernails are. <laughs> All right, let's clean this lens off. Key to fisheye, always keep your lens clean. So we got the seven to 14 wide angle lens. Uh, this lens is kind of cool. It's what's called a rectilinear lens. And it's super wide, kind of like how a fisheye is, but it doesn't have the circular distortion. It has more of a, a stretch distortion to it. And Straight line. It's pretty cool. It has a pretty cool effect to it. You don't see too many people filming skateboarding with this. The next lens we have is the pancake. It's a 20 millimeter. 1.7 aperture. So it's super fast, it means you can open it up in low light and get super good shots. And then it also means you can get a super shallow depth of field with this lens. This thing's awesome. And you can see how short the depth of field is by now going in on his eyes, smile, ears, fuzzy to face, smile. All right, so this is the 45 millimeter macro lens by Panasonic. 2.8. Uh, 2.8, super good all around lens, but one of the really cool things about this is you can film two inches away from it and get super close up macro shots. All right, so you see, you read addition, see it spinning. That's amazing. Guy was saying the same. All right, so this is the 14 to 140 HD lens. Uh, this lens is super good because it has zooming functions as far as that going in and out. But it also works with this camera as far as autofocus. One of the major problems with DSLRs is you're always trying to pull focus and guys are going in and out of focus if you have a nice long lens. This guy you can put on auto and it'll just lock on them. whatever you're filming. It works super good. One of the cool things about the GH2 is you can use different lens adapters, like this one right here, it's a lens adapter for Leica glass. And this is a Leica 50 lens. Super good glass, super good lens. So that's what's cool about this camera, is you're not just limited to Panasonic glass. You can use the adapters and put whatever kind of lens you want to put on there. And this lens is awesome. You can see it gives it like a real good cinematic look. We're shooting 24p, nice shallow depth of field, super good glass.
So one of the other cool things about this camera is that it has a free angle LCD display. What that basically means is that you can fold this guy out, spin it, turn it, whatever way you want. It's a transformer. See, and it's nice because you can look from this angle versus laying on your stomach and trying to get into the back of the screen. One of the cool features about this camera is IA. It's uh, intelligent auto. Basically what that does is the camera does everything for you. So let's say someone that's never really used a camera before, doesn't know all the features. You just put it on IA and the camera picks the white balance, the shutter speed, the exposure, the ISO, everything down the line. So one of the other cool things about this camera is how small it is. It uses the Micro Four Thirds chip and it doesn't have an actual physical mirror inside of it. You open it up and it's just the sensor inside of there. So they got rid of a lot of mechanics, made this thing a lot smaller. Yeah, it's a great thing for shooting action too. The lightweightness makes it quick on its feet. It's one of those things you can pick up and be ready to shoot. It's not like lugging around a big heavy camera. I think that's one of the strongest features about the size. So one of the other cool features about this camera is that it has a focus assist built into it. A lot of the other cameras has a dedicated button you have to push. The cool thing about this camera is as soon as you start twisting the focus, it knows that you're trying to focus and so it's going to punch in on the image, give you a nice zoomed in image for you to set focus. Way easier than squinting your eyes trying to do it. So what I'll do is I'll start in focused on Dario. Just by touching the focus on the lens, it will do that for you. It'll line that hair focus up, and then you hit record, and you're good to go. And it'll zoom back out into what your actual shot is. Another cool feature about this camera is that it has a mini HDMI output jack right here. And you can basically plug that into the back of your HD TV and you can watch your footage as soon as you shoot it or you can even be filming live and doing it live as it goes. Alright, so another cool feature about this camera is the battery. This thing lasts all day. Super long life, it charges super fast. I know we've shot on one battery all day and never even had to change it out. We have a 32 gig card in here right now. That's almost four hours of footage in the ABC HD codec that we're shooting on. Everything you need in one small, tiny package, the GH2. Buy it, get it, have it, give it. You need it. <laughs>
look down your board and skate away. Get up a fence. <laughs> 